Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I uh, hope you're all okay. Hope you're living life and it's happy and chappy. So I've got a confession. Lockdown has got me doing BuzzFeed quizzes. I see one on my timeline on Facebook and it's one of those ones that's like, if you don't know 50 out of 50 of these questions, you know nothing about Harry Potter. And I'm like, bitch, I know everything about Harry Potter. And I do the quiz and I know everything. I get all 50. Or you don't, if you can't answer 10 of these questions, you know nothing about the film Grease. And I'm like, once again, bitch, I know everything. Fight me. And I was just minding my own business today on YouTube, trying to ignore current events that are happening within other YouTube communities. Because I just don't need that in my life at the moment. And what should pop up? A BuzzFeed quiz for The Sims. So I thought, let's do some together. So I've selected six quizzes, as you can see here. And I thought we would do them together to see how I get on. So let's crack on. The first one, design a sim rude, design a sim boyfriend to quarantine with and will actually guess your taste in men. Now I have an actual real life husband. So we'll see how this works out. So first of all, we've got to pick a hairstyle. All of these are not, no. Um, who let you do this? Let's go for this one. Yeah, pick a shirt. That's not a shirt. That's him having a baby. Or is that meant to be like a fat man? Let's go for the hoodie. And je jeans, I suppose. Okay. Um, we'll say goofball. <laughs> What's his favourite hobby? All of these are rubbish. I say visual arts. Oh my life. And his primary emotion. Happy, neutral, inspired, uncomfortable, flirty or confident. Bob do be looking fresh there. Let's say um, neutral. Because you know nobody can be happy all the time. I feel like I should know what any of these means. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, you're making me geek. What's the most romantic thing your sim boyfriend have ever done for you? None of these are particularly romantic. Um, like, we'll say held me tenderly like those two buff men there. Alright, this is the last question. How often does he like to woo her? Mm. None of these are suitable answers. <laughs> uh, uh, um, we'll say this one. Who's a beefy? So I got a beefy beefcake. I don't know who that man is. I don't know who John Melio is. Okay, that one was crap. Let's go. Let's go. So this one is tell us your sim preferences and reveal which character you are. Sick. Let's go. Uh, I would live in Solani. Design of house. Um, that one looks quite nice, actually. Do like myself some festive, though. We'll go for relaxed. Hmm. I would like a pool. Ooh. Let's just ip dip, sky blue, granny sitting on the loo, dropping bombs, singing songs. It is not you. Ah, oh, yay. He's nice. I like him. Cool. Cool. Let's go. Next quiz. 
We're not stopping. We're going. So these are one of the quids that get me. So if I've played all of the Sims games, which I have, I should easily get seven out of nine. Bitch, we're going for nine out of nine. Let's go. Who is this? It's Bella Goth. Correct. I am. How many sim base games have there been? Four. Who doesn't know that? How many sim expansion stuff or game packs have there been? Oh my gosh. Across all base games, I'm going to have to go 70 plus. 77? There's probably more now because I don't know when this one came out, this article. What year was this bad boy released? 2000. I remember it like it was yesterday. What ex Oh, Discovery University. I thought it was giving me different ones and I couldn't read. <laughs> so we know when this was. How many people play The Sims 4? I'm going to go for 20. Um, up to 20 million. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not getting me 9 out of 9. What item did Sim is typically remove the pool ladder? Obviously, we want to kill them. Uh, when they're greeting each other. Oh, yes. Tiny living. I got eight. It's not what I wanted. Because I wanted the nine. But I suppose it is better than nothing. Next quiz. Let's go again. Okay. So we, they will guess if you're a millennial or a Gen Z based on... How you spend your play, time playing The Sims. Now, I know I'm a millennial. I was born in 1992. I'm straight in the middle of millennial season. But let's see if BuzzFeed will guess. Okay? Um, ooh. 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 But then Midnight Hollow. That does go to my inner angsty emo child teen. We'll go Willow Creek. Who am I going to hang out with? Now, Brandy did kill her husband because he was allegedly, we have to say allegedly, we don't want lawyers involved, having it on with Bella Goth. I don't, there's something about Mortimer, he doesn't make me feel comfortable. Now, if it's the Caliente sisters of The Sims 2, I'm going to say them. Pick an aspiration. We like that coin, honey. Learn a new skill. Scuba diving. I would actually like to go scuba diving. Pick a cat. Look at that little poor cat. We go for her. An inconvenience to have to deal with. Robbed. Finally, what did the, what big thing do I want to accomplish today? Write a novel. Ooh. They reckon I'm a... Um, Gen Z, they're wrong. Mm. <laughs> That's a shame, BuzzFeed, how, how to get you wrong. If you can answer seven out of nine questions about Rebecca Williams, you're amazing, but you can't BuzzFeed. Huh. Let's go again. Next quiz. This is a longer one. Only real Sims fans have done 23 out of 32 on this list of things. Let's go. Check off all the things we've done. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, yes. Is this on just on The Sims 4? Yes. Yes. No, I actually haven't. No, no, they're ugly. Yes. Um, I did actually. I know I always say all the times that I own the packs and never play with them. Because I kept saying it so much, I was like, Damn, maybe I should actually like play with something. So I made a vampire and I played with him once. That's the same thing. Yes, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. 28 out of 32, boys. Yes. Done. Right, so we've just got one more quiz left. So now we're pumping through these. Which Sims family do you belong to based on the aesthetic of the house you design? This is the quiz that I saw on YouTube. So it would be... I suppose it depends on the beach, forest or in the mountains. 
We'll go forest. That'd be quite nice. Even though I wouldn't want to be haunted. Um, covered in roses. That'd be cute. Mm, bright and bohemian. What feature must it have? Uh, that kitchen does look pretty cute. But I do also want a pool. But would you need a pool if you lived in the middle of the forest? We'll go for that. What's the garden like? It has a river. We're in the forest. Oh. What do my friends do when they come over? Knowing my actual real life friends. Probably this one. The dream of family with Daz. Oh. I love them. I do. I love them. And there we go. That's well, That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> I will leave a link in the description with all of the quizzes that I did if you want to try them yourself. Oh, no. I wanted to do this one as well. Let's quick do this one. Ignore me. Right. So, we've got this one. Answer these questions and we'll reveal which Sims 4 character you should die. But I didn't get Don Lothario. What's the point? Um... Mm. Uh, a dinner and a movie that'd be nice how many kids do you want maybe just the one. Oh, nothing too complicated what trait must a partner have we'd like them to be a bit cheerful wouldn't we somebody need we need a cheerful person to outdo my darkness what's the most important thing in a relationship compatible with personalities Real talk, what's the most important trait? Mm, you know, they won't be nice looking forever, regardless. Choose a romantic couple that you and your significant other aspire to be alike. We'll go with the Adamses. Oh, I'm going to get the frigging Mortimer Goth or something now, ain't I? Pick a TV show for you and your significant other to binge watch. We'll go for Blue Planet because we do that on the regular. Pick your romantic dinner for your other half. Steak. I don't like it rare, but my husband does. Finally choose a name for your future children. I'm sorry, who's calling their children? Hermione and James. Heh. Heh. That's not cool. We'll go with this one. Oh, I don't know who this man is. I know you actually. He kept rejecting me in my 100 baby challenge. And it made me real sad. But there you go. Now I'm actually done. <laughs> we got where we wanted to do. I did some quizzes and it was a good time. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. So please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. As I say, I'll link everything in the description below so you can take these quizzes as well if you so wish. And I hope to see you in the next one, uploading Monday to Friday. And I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.